Now we're going to make one of these mugs. It's a little mug that you can use as a box, obviously, putting all sorts of things in. And to make one of those, you'll need to print out your design. The size that you want, you can do it in various sizes. And then what we're going to do is print out the colours of the background papers you want to use. Now print both sides. And what I've done here is I've cut out the excess from around the design and then just stuck that down onto this piece of card with some masking tape. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I cut it out is where all the dotted lines are, just score through them so that when it comes to bending them, they bend easily. When you've creased all the dotted line sections, you can start cutting it out then. Pay attention to here, you can see on the design, you've got the black line that goes into there. That allows you to fold this over. This side has been done there, as you can see. So you cut into that. And then also, when I'm cutting out the handle, try not to bend it. I usually just push my scissors through and then just gently cut it out. Now I've cut out the template completely and I've scored it. Now you can take away the main template there and you can use that again for another one. Uh, I've got the design here now and all you've got to do is start where I've creased it all. Just keep bending them over. Just pre-bend them. And if you want to make the bends really secure, then you can use your boning tool to really get them nice and straight, strong creases. So just go around the whole design. Now I've taken the template and I've creased all the areas that need creasing. That's going to turn around like that. Now there's only one or two bits of gluing you need to do. So it's just this little flap here that's going to stick inside there. So just a little bit of glue on the outside here. And then that is going to stick on the inside of the handle there. As you can see, I'm just going to hold that in position. Just let that stick securely. So the handle is now stuck securely and I'm just going to apply some little bit of glue on these three tabs here and those are going to go into the box there and then from the inside just push them up against the inside there and just secure them in position and just let that dry. So there's the mug, you can see there the bottom flaps are stuck inside there. This is the top flap, now you can fill that with anything you want. And then these just come down and there's your lid and you've got your mug box. You can turn into anything you want. So I've cut out some strips of green. They're going to go on the panels here alternatively. Now I've just used the template to get the right size and I'm just going to glue these on individually. So there's my green and yellow mug box and finally I've taken one of the footballs and I'm just going to stick that on the top. Ta-da!